This is Mike Patton, uh, a.k.a. The General. Uh, I guess I want to express my thoughts again, uh, a little bit more football. Uh, watched a little bit of the Pittsburgh uh, Steelers versus Indianapolis Colts game. First things first, I must be honest, the game was pretty boring. I'm sorry, it just is what it is, folks. I mean, I'm sorry for your Colts fan, Steelers fan. I know you're probably all into it, but no, it was boring. It is what it is. Uh, as far as, uh, you know, the Colts, they had started to Scott Tolzien. And it went about as expected. You know, they only scored seven points. That's what I thought would happen. And it is what it is. And they lost. And they had a couple goal line issues that didn't work out. It is what it is. You should have actually scored on both of those. But, you know, that's either here nor there. As far as the Pittsburgh Steelers, you did what you were supposed to do. And for the love of God, please, NFL, let people celebrate in the end zone. Please let people celebrate in the end zone. I'm so tired of seeing flags on that. Hey, and then, you you know, you, you talk about individuals and doing celebrations and things like that. But then when people do stuff as a team, you flag them for that too. Stop it. Stop it. But I digress. Let's go back to my original point. My original point for even doing this video was uh, to talk about the Indianapolis Colts and their management. Ryan Grigson, Grigsby, whatever you want to call it, tomato, tomato, whatever his last name is. This is what I have to say. This is all on you. A lot of people will probably say it's on the coach, Pagano, and stuff like that. No, 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 no. This is on you. This is on you, sir. Besides Ryan Kelly, give me an offensive lineman you drafted in the first round to protect your franchise quarterback. I don't think you can. Uh, as far as uh, the weapons that you've, you've got around them, which is fine. You got Frank Gore, and I mean, you know, Frank Gore is Frank Gore. He's still a veteran. You drafted, instead of drafting a, somebody you needed on defense or offense, a couple years ago, you drafted Philip Dorsett, which is a speedy slot guy, which you didn't need. No, you didn't need that at all. Bad move. Bad, bad, bad move. Then... Defensive wise, I mean, I'm still. I know you got Vontae Davis over there, but who's the other corner? And I bet you many Colts fans cannot name who that is. Another mistake. Uh, as far as defensively, I mean, who's there? Who can name five Colts defenders? I'll give you 10 seconds. There you go. Yeah. I bet you didn't name five. I don't think anybody can. <laughs> as far as their defense, I'll just say, nah, 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 Mr. Grixon, yeah, well, what are we doing here? Offensive-wise, the offensive line is bad. It has been bad. And you just paid Costanzo all that money at offensive tackle, and he really wasn't a great offensive tackle to begin with. So, I mean, honestly, Andrew Luck's hurt, and he's probably going to continue getting hurt because you have not built an offensive line to protect the guy that you're going to pay. You're paying millions of dollars to. Does that really make any sense? It's kind of like building a boat, and, you know, you build the, 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 the bottom of the boat, and you basically build that with just, like, you, you just forget about the bottom of the boat, but you just upload everything else. It's like, oh, yeah, the top of the boat would be great, but you know, the boat might sink, but, hey, the top of it looks, looks good. Nah, don't work that way. And for that, sir, yeah, it it might be time for the pink slip eventually for you. Now, I, just being honest, I mean, you're getting your franchise quarterback killed. Uh, defense really cannot really stop anyone, um, and it just like it just seems like all the moves that are made are not made to fortify this team, and you're kind of not helping your, your your head coach. And I know that they were you all were brought back on. I mean, Pagano and, and Grayson were brought back on, uh, you know, equal deals, things like that, which is fine. But I mean, Pagano's kind of you know playing with one hand tied behind his back at this point. I mean, he really is. I mean, the GM's got to go. That's just it. I mean, I don't know what's what else I can tell you. Uh, I just laid out the facts to you just now. What are you doing, man? That's just my thoughts. I mean, some people may think I'm wrong. Some people may think I'm right. But, nah, nah, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Anytime you get in your franchise quarterback killed and your defense can't stop anybody. And you look at your draft pattern. Yeah, it's time to go. 
tiring, but sometimes in life a little rain must fall and a little job must go. Sorry, peace. This is Mike Patton and Mike Patton, aka the general. Uh, you can catch me on, uh, of course, uh, my writing on the Sports Awakening, uh, www.sportsawakening.com. You can catch me on Twitter at general underscore MP. Uh, had to lay my truce out there from that game. Woo wee. Man, whoever stayed up and watched that whole game, I give much power to you. I'm out. Peace.